I do. Uh, the word comes from the uh, Song Dynasty in Poland. The term originates from ancient times. Now it's a name of one of China's technology leaders. It has something to do with search. Search. Yes. <laughs> Baidu is China's answer to America's Google. The homegrown search engine dominates the internet here. It listed on the Nasdaq in 2005, and most recently, it's gained ground from the high-profile retreat of Google, which ran into problems with Chinese authorities over alleged cyber attacks and the country's notorious censorship. Baidu is now looking to compete outside China's borders, pitting it again against its American rival. Google is a very respectable company. We compete with each other, but you know we're very we do very well in the Chinese market. And uh, you know when we go internationally, we will keep the core, you know, our the key success factor that enabled us to be where we are today, and you know replicate that in the international market. Do you ever feel that you're in the shadow of Google? When we first became a public company in 2005, we had about 47% of the market share, and today we have close to 80%. And we win not only because of the search technology itself, because we understand the local markets, we offer a whole slew of different products that ensure users come to Baidu. Everybody talks about, okay, the Chinese internet, there's a lot of censorship that goes on. How do you operate in that type of environment? Obviously, as a search engine, you want to enable free flow of information without border, without restriction. But, you know, you look at the history of China's media development. Over the past 30 years, I think the media space has developed tremendously in terms of openness, freedom of flow of information. So you put things in perspective. We're moving towards the right direction. Baidu has become such a force in the Internet in China. Do you ever get a niggling feeling or concern that somebody somewhere in the government apparatus would actually think, hmm, you know that Baidu, it's getting powerful, maybe a little bit too powerful. No, I don't think so, yeah. Can you elaborate why? <laughs> um, it's just as, you know, the interest is aligned. You know, I think just because of the internet, it's in nurturing a new kind of economy. And I think from, uh, uh, you know, people come to internet for live information, for news, for entertainment. This offers a new, like, very rich dimension for people's lives. So the society is very vibrant because of internet. One criticism of Baidu is that you're a copycat uh, and that you can't be a leader if you're a follower. There are plenty of international companies that has to come to China. In the, inter, in, in the internet space, you look at eBay, you look at Google, you look at Yahoo. These companies, they have the technology, they have those ideas. Are they successful? You can't copy everything here and make it work. It has to suit the local markets. And it's those kind of appreciation, understanding, and innovation that's in the DNA of the Chinese product that makes them successful.